Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Set the Pace, running news from Australia and across the globe. My name's Neil and thanks for checking out this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and share this video with your running community. Lots coming up in this week's edition guys, but before we jump into this week's news, let's wind the clock back a little to a couple of items which we featured in the show over the past couple of weeks. Now, if you watched last week's edition, guys, I've set the pace, you will have seen that Lyndon Hall set a new Australian and Oceana track record of 235.90 for the one kilometre at the Box Hill Burn meeting in Melbourne. What I failed to mention in that report, guys, was that right behind Hall was a talented 15-year-old, Claudia Hollingsworth, who was second and ran 236.72, a world best under 18, and also a world best under 20 time. Now, Claudia, this follows her 800 meter PB in December of 205. So she's making some great improvement and she's definitely a name to watch out for in the future. Now, also in a recent edition of Set the Pace, we mentioned Oliver Hoare setting a new Aussie 1500 meter indoor record. Well, Hoare stepped up to the five kilometers at the Sound Running Invite Meet in California last week and finished seventh in 13.22. Now this came just days after Stuart McSwain ran that 13.05 and Matt Ramsden ran 13.22 in that five kilometer track event at Box Hill Burn. The California 5K was won by US-based Canadian Grant Fisher in 13.02.53, while the women's event was won by Emily Sisson in 14.52. Now that was a seven second improvement for Emily and also an Olympic qualifier. Now across the men's and women's 5K events there in California, 10 athletes achieved Olympic qualifying standards across both races. Now another item that we featured not too long ago was Norwegian Jonas Feld Sveldrud, who ran the fastest marathon in barefoot on snow or ice, running 144.58, taking more than 30 minutes off the previous record held by Wim Hof. Well guys, that record has gone again, with Spaniard Karim El Hayani taking more than five minutes off Jonas's mark running 140.49 on a 1300 metre loop course on Lake Beauport near Quebec City. And the temperature for that record attempt, guys, minus 15 degrees. Karim's record has since been validated by the Guinness World Records. All right, let's dive straight into some news that's coming up and Ethiopia gets the opportunity to strike an early blow in the lead up to this year's Olympic Games Marathon in Tokyo. Ethiopia will stage its marathon trials on April 4 in Awasi City at an altitude of 1800 meters. Now this is just a week before the NN Mission Marathon elite race in Hamburg, where world record holder and reigning Olympic champion, Eliud Kipchoge will race. But what about this list of marathoners from Ethiopia? led by the second fastest man in history over the distance, Kenanisa Bekili. An astonishing 10 men who have run under 2.06.15. And the women's list is just as impressive, headed by Rosa Derejis 2.18.30, Ruti Agas 2.18.34, and Bahanis Dababas 2.18.35. But there are 10 Ethiopian women who have run under 2.20.51 with current half marathon world record holder Abadel Yashani rounding out the top 10. That's some lineup guys and I can't wait to see how those trials pan out on April 4. Now we know Kipchoge is running in Hamburg on April 11, but it's still hard to find who he's coming up against. An earlier release from the NN running team, one of the organizers of that elite marathon in Hamburg, indicated that their athletes, Bjorn Corman, Marius Onescu and Roy Hornwig would be taking part. Now, along with those South African runners we mentioned in last week's show. But outside of these names, the start lists still remain sketchy. 
Hopefully the organisers will release more details about who's taking part soon. Now still on the Olympics guys, and Mo Farah, who will chase a fifth Olympic title on the track in Tokyo, went back to the country where he spent his early years before moving to Britain at age eight, running the inaugural Jubati International Half Marathon last week. In his first race of the year, Farah and his rivals had to battle the warm 28 degree temperatures, but the track star was still able to get the victory in 63.07, just four seconds ahead of training partner Bashir Abdi. Not an incredibly quick time by elite standard guys, but taking into account the warm conditions and the fact that Farah had just come out of a training camp in Ethiopia, I'm sure the 37 year old Brit would be more than pleased with the early year run and getting that W. 2018 Boston Marathon champion Des Linden is having a crack at the 50 kilometer world record of three hours, seven minutes and 20 seconds set by Great Britain's Ali Dixon in 2019. Now, there's not a lot of information about Linden's record attempt, but it's expected to be sometime in mid-April at an undisclosed location in Oregon. And while we're talking about the Boston Marathon, the Boston Athletic Association has announced it will offer a virtual Boston Marathon in 2021, open to everyone 18 years or older, in celebration of the 125th edition on October 11. The virtual race is in addition to the in-person Boston Marathon, will be open to the first 70,000 registrations. As we all know, you need to qualify to run the Boston Marathon, but the virtual event gives everyone the opportunity to claim a Boston Marathon medal. I ran Boston in 2014 and it's still my favorite marathon by far. The buzz of the crowds, the atmosphere, the history of the event, it was just fantastic. And just one very memorable marathon that's gonna live with me forever. If the London Marathon is anything to go by, the BAA will have no trouble reaching that 70,000 figure. London's 50,000 runner virtual event filled up in real quick time, so expect Boston to do the same, guys. All right, guys, that's the running news for this week. Short and sweet. I'm gonna leave you with more photos from the Running Duck Effect Strava Club. Just remember, guys, if you uh, wanna join the Strava Club, uh, put the details down below and go in there and join the club. Leave photos from your runs and it may appear here on a future edition of Set the Pace. So enjoy these photos, guys. Until next week, stay safe and happy running. Hooroo.